Hey, welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Mitch English. We are just days away from the fifth season of the year. Talking football, football season. Right now, let's talk about a game that's going to kick off the season. It's Kendra Bullock Major. She's the executive director of the Orange Blossom Classic Committee. Hi there, Kendra. Hello, how are you? Well, we're excited. Uh, we're excited here, number one, because football makes everybody happy, and uh, especially this event, too. Tell us a little bit about the history and maybe even the significance of the Orange Blossom Classic and how it actually has really evolved since we actually saw its inception. Oh, yes. So uh, the Orange Blossom Classic has such a rich, rich, rich history. This game, of course, began in the mid-1930s, ran through the late 1970s. Um, this was an opportunity for talent from all walks of life, from HBCUs to come and showcase. And it was actually known as the Black National Championship. So they were able to showcase all of the amazing talent on the field that came from our historically Black colleges and universities. The game died in the late 1970s. And after 40 plus years, I am fortunate enough to say that we have revived the game. And now we're moving into the fourth year. You know, when you hear stuff like that, uh, you talk about how there was, in, you know, uh, basically segregation and you had to have your own, basically, uh, uh, the championship uh, with the uh, black players. And where we are now, it really does a lot for the community to kind of rally around this. And what kind of impact does it really take on as far as the local community goes? You know, you, you said it best. I mean, just knowing, you know, how far we've come and now how exciting HBCU football is. You know, this one of the reasons that this game is so significant and so special is because it kind of touches multiple generations. Okay. So those that remember the game in the late 1970s, you know, to those that remember the game in the late 1940s and 50s, and now to this current generation who get to experience it all over again and really being able to tell that story about how, just like you said, not too long ago because of segregation, so many of the schools that they're now able to attend, they were not able to attend. So we had to kind of create um, that championship for ourselves. And so this game is special because, you know, not only is it rich in history, but when we brought the game back, we did it. A lot of people probably don't realize in 2021. And in 2021, there was so much going on in our country. Of course, we were coming off of the heels of the pandemic, you know, still dealing with what football was going to look like. You know, we were dealing with uh, the situation where we're kind of like in 2020 at the height of the Black Lives Matter movement yeah. after the death of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor. And so, you know, trying to reimagine what football was going to look like in the post-pandemic situation, trying to see what football was going to look like, you know, specifically HBCU football coming in with Deion Sanders um, at a time, like I said, when the Black Lives Matter movement was so significant and people were saying, no, take your talent to HBCUs. So there were so many eyes on this, this one event. So it, you know, it's very, the, the timing of when we revived it just because of the history was so, it's still so significant. Yeah, we saw some of the video there of Coach Prime popping up there as well. Yeah, and it really is, you know, and, 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 and the gist of it all is actually to help raise scholarships so that students right. can get through college and such. How much money mm -hmm. are we trying to raise here with the uh, Orange Blossom uh, Classic? What's the goal? So, you know, every year with us, of course, each of the participating schools receive our game, a game guarantee. They receive, you know, that opportunity to play in the game and receive funds for their athletic department. Well, on top of that, you know, we like to make sure that the student athletes and whatever the school's needs are that they may have at the time, you know, are met outside of just that game guarantee. So our goal every year is usually $200,000 on top of the team's guarantees. And we do that through community partnerships, um, Orange Blossom Classic, OBC, our tagline is one big community. So yes, even though we are an HBCU football game, uh -huh. we're still welcoming everyone into our one big community. So with those type of partnerships and expressing our commitment to seeing students attend historically Black colleges and universities, we've been very fortunate um, to reach you know that, that goal year after year. And we're, we're shooting to reach that goal again this year. And, and plus it's fun. It's fun too. Yeah. Football. I mean, football right. is, is everything in America, right? And I often say with the Orange Blossom Classic, you just never know who you're going to see. So not only do you have a chance to see a great matchup on the football field, we merge that, of course, with the bands. And then we bring in, you know, different artists, different celebrities from an entertainment standpoint. So this is that one event where if you are a lover of HBCU culture, if you are a lover of football, 
and entertainment and music, this is that one event that bridges all of that together. Absolutely. Now, of course, yeah, it's exciting. It's a huge sports event. It's entertainment. But we need to know who's actually playing and performing this year. Can you give us a little, uh, you know, deets on that? Oh, yes. So, of course, we have the uh, Alabama State University Hornets versus the North Carolina Central University uh, Eagles. So very exciting. I'm originally from North Carolina, so it kind of feels good to have a team, you know, represented yeah, from, you, uh, you know, the town that I grew up in and where I'm from. So really excited about that. Alabama State University is amazing with that Florida and, you know, Alabama border, so to speak. We have a lot of students um, and, you know, alumni in the South Florida area that actually attended school at Alabama State University. Okay. And a lot of people don't know it, but Alabama State has almost 20 um, players on their roster from Florida. So huge, huge recruiting hotbed, hotbed, great matchup between those two teams. And then from an entertainment standpoint, can't let the cat out of the bag just yet. Come on, but come on, come on. You can tell us. <laughs> yeah, listen, anyone who is familiar with the Orange Blossom Classic, you know, you know some of the talent that we've had in previous years. And so I will say we have no intentions of stopping the flow and we have no intention of disappointing our fan base. All so right. we had everyone last year, I think from um, Jermaine Dupree, let us see. Um, I, I can't even name them all, but trust me, we'll still be in that same vein. Indeed. And there will definitely be entertainment across all age groups and all genres. The website you want to check out, orangeblossomclassic.com. It does good. It's going to be a great game. It's going to be fun as well. Check it out. And of course, we'll have this link on our very own website. Can't you thank you for joining us? You can head to, again, orangeblossomclassic.com or our website, dailyflashshow.com.